All right, kiddo. Time for bed. Hmm? Please read me another chapter before I go to sleep. Okay, but after that, it's lights out. Okay. <laughs> All right. So this chapter is about a pirate named Captain Crown who lived right here in Louisiana. Maybe even in this very house. That's scary. Some folks believe he hid his treasure deep in the swamps. And it's there where his ghost forever dwells to punish those who go looking for his gold. Daddy, are ghosts real? Of course not, sweetie. It's past your bedtime. Time for sleep. Hmm? <laughs> 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 Glad you've arrived. My daughter and I are worried sick about the disappearance of my husband, Marcus. We just moved here to Louisiana. Now he's missing, and I don't know what to do about it. The locals are all too afraid of some ridiculous curse to help us search for him. You're the only one who can find him and return him safely to us. Not long after we moved in, my husband became convinced this place was cursed by a ghost. The ghost of a pirate! Can you believe such nonsense? He overheard the neighbors rambling on about a pirate's hidden fortune. A few days ago, he finds a map he believes has clues to the hidden treasure. He gets completely obsessed, starts tearing this place apart, and now he's missing. My husband found a map of the property not long after we moved in. With all the locals' talk of pirates, he thought it might be some sort of treasure map. <laughs> it's there, on the couch, but it looks like the dog's had its way with it. You might have to search around a bit to find the missing pieces. There's some tape around here to keep it together.
like you've got the map piece back together all right if nothing else it should help you get your bearings around the estate you might want to begin your investigation by speaking with mary the cleaning woman we hired it sounds like she's working in the bedroom upstairs again thank you so much for helping us detective we were unexpectedly willed this old estate by marcus's great aunt he thought it was our big break. After some discussion, we sold our house and moved here from Ohio. If only we'd known what a run-down dump this place was. Our daughter Magnolia was the last person to see her daddy before he disappeared. I'm not sure I believe her, as she also claims to have seen a ghost that night. <laughs> I'm afraid all of this has just been too much for her.
How do you do, detective? My name is Mary. Mary Lee. My husband and I found work here by way of an advertisement placed by Mrs. Lawson. They needed some help fixing up the place and times being what they are. We gladly accepted. Certainly is a shame about her husband gone missing. Between me and you, there's something not quite right about this place. been kind of lean for my husband and me. The bank foreclosed on our house. So we got to make do by finding jobs place to place. One of the nice things about working for the Lawsons, they let us stay in that old carriage house down the road a ways. Poor child. She ain't been out of that room in days. Can't say I blame her. If I saw a ghost taking away my daddy, well, I'd hide my head under the covers, too. She only comes out when she's hungry. Then she locks herself back inside. Of course I believe in ghosts. Local folks say that there's a pirate ghost that walks along the hall in the manor with us. Now, I ain't got time to be John with you. Not when there's work to be done. Now, why don't you make yourself useful and go get me some cleaning supplies and put them in that chest down by the foot of the bed? Come back when you did what I asked.